students, welcome to another ICT Grade 8 learning session on word processing. Today, we will learn how to manipulate tables in a Word document. In this video, you will learn what a table is, how to insert a table, what table styles are, how to add shade to tables. We will also perform some quick tests followed by a recap. Let's start the lesson by looking at what is a table. A table helps you represent information in a clear and organized way. It is made up of rows and columns. The icon to insert a table is as shown. Dear students, let us insert a table in a Word document. Click where you want the table to appear. Select the Insert tab from the ribbon. From the Tables group, click the Table button. Click on Insert Table option. Type 4 for the number of columns and 5 for the number of rows are shown. Click OK. A table with 4 columns and 5 rows is inserted. Now, let us watch a demonstration on how to insert a table in a Word document. From the Microsoft Word 2016 interface, click where you want the table in your Word document. Select the Insert tab from the ribbon. From the Tables group, click the Table button. Click on Insert Table option. Type 5 for the number of columns and 4 for the number of rows. Click OK. The table with 5 columns and 4 rows is inserted. Dear students, let us add styles to a table in a Word document. The Table Styles option allows you to format a table, change cell shades and cell color. The Table Styles option is as shown. The Table Styles option will automatically appear on top. Select the table. From the Table Styles option, select a table style. Click on the More button to get different table styles. Select a desired table style from the Table Styles option. The style of the table will change the color of the cells of the table. Now, let us watch a demonstration on how to work on table styles in a Word document. From the Microsoft Word 2016 interface, we have opened a document having a table with four columns and five rows. Select the table by double-clicking on it. From the Table Styles option here, select a table style. As the cursor is moving on the different styles, you will observe 
The table is changing accordingly. Click on the More button to get different table styles. Select a desired table style from the Table Styles option. Here we have chosen Grid Table 5 Dark Ascent 4. You will observe that the table has changed its style. Let us add shade to a table in a Word document. Adding shade means the cells have taken the selected color. The icon to add shade is as shown. Select the table. Click on the shading icon. Select a color from the theme colors option. The table will look as shown below. Let us watch a demonstration on how to add shade to a table in a Word document. From the Microsoft 2016 interface, we have opened a document with a table with four columns and five rows. Select the table by double-clicking on it. Click on the shading icon as shown. Select a color from the theme colors option. As the cursor is moving on the different shades, you will observe the table is changing accordingly. We have selected green ascent 6 darker 25% here. The table will change and now look like this. This is the end of the demonstration. Now students, let us do a quick test exercise on what you have learned in this lesson. Read each statement carefully and answer accordingly. You will be given a few seconds to answer. Question 1. A table consists of n columns. Option A, rows. Option B, grids. Or option C, tables. The answer is option A. A table consists of rows and columns. Question 2. Which icon is used to insert a table? Icon A, icon B, or icon C? The answer is icon A. Question 3. Which icon is clicked to shade a table? Icon A, icon B, or icon C? The answer is icon B. This is the end of our quick test. I hope you were able to get all the answers correct. Now, it's time for a recap. A table helps you represent information in a clear and organized way. It is made up of rows and columns. The table styles option allows you to format a table, change cell shades and cell color. Adding shade means the cells have taken the selected color. Dear students, thank you for your attention. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. So it's a goodbye from my side.